So we're back with another Pro Tools quick tip. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you something that you can add to your sound designer tool belt. And that's your ability to stretch audio clips in time. So we're not, we're not talking about trimming an audio clip. In this case, we're talking about actually stretching it or compressing it in time which is a very important uh, you know, tool that you're gonna wanna start applying immediately. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, so let's get straight into how we can make that happen. Maybe you have like a line of dialogue you wanna, you know, like you know, the, 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 the person who was performing the line, it was just too slow or too fast and you wanna fix that. Maybe it's a voiceover project or maybe it's a sound effect and you wanna just, you know, like slightly adjust it so it's like, you know, slow-mo perhaps or I don't know the sky's the limit when it comes to this tool but it does have its limitations because the algorithm obviously at some point if it was recorded and this is where um, sample rate comes into play we're not going to get into that but if you have really high quality files that were recorded in 192 uh, kilohertz well then you're going to have a lot more room to play with but in this case we're just making subtle adjustments so how you want to make this happen is you're going to want to right click this tool right up here okay right click it and then you're going to have the option between tce loop or standard as it is set by default that's your basically your your trimming tool but if you click tce and now you go to the edge of a audio clip as you can see you do okay Oh, wait, something else happened. So let's just click that again. And I want to do this. Fade on the clip. Okay, so you can do it if it has a fade. So I just learned something here, guys, today. So anyways, so let's say just in this case, just to, just to demonstrate, I'm going to remove this amazing fade in. And I'm just going to stretch the audio file now. And as you can see, it rendered it, okay? And it overrode the original file so make sure if you're going to do this you might actually want to duplicate your original file so it doesn't you know I'll, I'll show you so like let's say i just go back like this and i want to copy this i can mute this just to have a backup just in case that way you know if anything goes wrong and i don't like it or you know the director says screw it let's go back to the original it's there so we do that again and as you can see it did not trim it did not like elongate the clip it actually stretched the audio within those boundaries to fit new boundaries so that's pretty much all there is to it it's a very simple function in practice but a very useful one and like i said the sky is the limit the higher your uh, the quality of your audio files are the more mileage you're going to be able to get out of this trick so if you have any questions about that, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But other than that, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.